Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jolie, and today we are learning A Course in Miracles. This is the series where we do that. I have all lessons uploaded, starting with one, lesson one, through 126. And they go through 365, so it's daily lessons. If you are new to the series through this video, suggest that you subscribe and also start with one. But if you want a little taste of it, stay for this one. Here we go. It'll be lesson 127 today. If you have the workbook and you're following along, that's great. If not, that's fine too. Uh, pages 225 and 226. Let's get started. Lesson 127. There is no love but God's. That's the idea for today. There is no love but God's. The idea to put into practice. Perhaps you think that different kinds of love are possible. Perhaps you think there is a kind of love for this, a kind of love for that, a way of loving one, another way of loving still another. Love is one. It has no separate parts and no degrees, no kinds, nor levels, nor divergencies, nor distinctions. It is like itself, unchanged throughout. It never alters with the person or circumstance. It is the heart of God and also the God of heart. Love's meaning is obscure to anyone who thinks that love can change. Those who do not see that changing love must be impossible. And thus we think that God's love can love at times and hate at other times. We can also think that love can be bestowed on one and yet remain itself, although it is withheld from another. To believe these things of love is not to understand it. If it could make such distinctions, it would have to judge between the righteous and the sinner and perceive the, um, the people of God in separate parts. So love cannot judge. It is one itself. It looks on all as one. Its meaning lies in oneness and it must elude the mind that thinks of it as partial or in part. There is no love but God's and all of love is God's. There is no other principle that rules where love is not. Love is law without an opposite. Its wholeness is the power holding everything as one. The link between our, our higher power and ourselves which holds um, them t us all together, both forever as the same. No course whose purpose is to teach you to remember what you really are could fail to emphasize that there can be, can never be a difference in what you really are and what love is. Love's meaning is your own and shared by God. For what you are is what God is. There is no love but your higher powers, love, and what God is, is everything there is. There is no limit placed. So you are unlimited as well. No law the world obeys can help you grasp love's meaning. What the world believes was made to hide love's meaning and to keep it dark and secret. There is not one principle the world upholds but violates the truth of what love is and what you are as well. Seek not within the world to find yourself. Love is not found in darkness and in death, yet it is perfectly apparent to the eyes that see and ears that hear love's voice. Today we practice making free your mind of all the laws you think you must obey, of all the limits under which you live and all the changes that you think you are a part of human destiny. Today, we take the largest single step this course requests in your advance towards its established goal. 
If you achieve the faintest glimmering of what love means today, you have advanced in distance without measure and in time beyond the count of years to your release. Let us together then be glad to give some time to God today and understand there is no better use for time than this. For 15 minutes twice today, escape from every law in which you now believe. Open your mind and rest. The world that seems to hold you prisoner can be escaped by anyone who does not hold it dear. Withdraw all value you have placed upon its meager offerings and senseless gifts and let the gift of God replace them all. Call on to your higher power, certain that God's voice will answer. God promised this. God will place a spark of truth within your mind wherever you give up a false belief, a dark illusion of your own reality and what love means. God will shine through your idle thoughts today and help you understand the truth of love. In loving gentleness, God will abide with you as you allow the voice of God to teach love's meaning to your clean and open mind. It will be blessed in this lesson and with God's love. Today, the legion of the future years of waiting for salvation disappears before the timelessness of what you learn. Let us give thanks today that we are spared a future like the past. Today, we leave the past behind us, never more to be remembered. And we raise our eyes upon a different present where a future dawns unlike the past in every attitude or attribute. The world in infancy is newly born and we will watch it grow in health and strength to shed its blessing beyond upon all who come to learn, to cast aside the world they thought was made in hate to be love's enemy. Now are they all made free along with us? Now are they all our people in God's love? We will remember them throughout the day because we cannot leave a part of us outside our love if we would know ourselves. At least three times an hour, think of one who makes the journey with you and who came to learn what you must learn. And as they come to mind, give them this message from yourself. I bless you with the love of God, which I would share with you. For I would learn the joyous les lesson that there is no love but God's and yours and mine and everyone's. Lesson 127, there is no love but God's.